Hi guys, Alia here. I am going to uh, give you some bad news. If you're starting carnivore diet, you will get sick. Something will happen and you're gonna feel terrible. Sorry to tell you that. But the good news is there is a solution and if you can just make it through that first period, you're going to feel amazing. All right, number one, nausea. I experienced this and people have reported this, that they feel nauseated when starting the carnivore diet. And that is because your body is not used to this way of eating and eating a high level of fat. The carnivore diet is a high fat, moderate protein diet to the exclusion of vegetables and plants, etc. In parentheses, I do drink coffee. So when you're doing a carnivore diet and you feel nauseated, I recommend you cut back on the amount of fat that you're eating and slowly build it back up and eat more and more until you're not nauseated, basically. Another thing that I did when I felt nauseated when I started this way of eating over a year ago was I was taking hydrochloric acid, that is a stomach acid supplement. I'm not promoting any specific brand. That's personally what I did and I felt that helped me very much transition over to how I was eating before to eating this way uh, with the least amount of problems. So that's my advice when you feel not People can get diarrhea when starting the carnivore diet. Yes, I know it sucks, it's not easy, it's not fun. However, you can get over it. I feel the two things to do to get over it rapidly is cut back on the amount of fat you're eating and then increase it slowly over time until your body adjusts. Also, I recommend hydrochloric acid. Once again, stomach is not up to par, maybe because of your diet and how you've been eating then maybe that supplemental help. I felt it helped. On the exact reverse of that, people report constipation. So what happens, you get constipated on a carnivore diet when you're not eating enough fat. So it's literally the exact opposite. That's number one. So you need to increase your fat. Eat bacon, eat fatty meats. I love pork belly. Cheese can be an absolute point of constipation on the carnivore diet. So you just have to watch out for that and definitely cut back on cheese if you're eating too much or just cut, cut it out all the way and see how you feel. Leg cramps can happen on the carnivore diet. I definitely experienced this when I was starting and once in a while I'll get some leg cramps. In the past, what I've done to handle leg cramps is take magnesium. Figure it out for you. I think the simplest way is at the beginning is supplementing with some sort of some minerals daily and you should be fine. A company called Elements has some. I don't get any commissions for saying that. I've never even tried it. So check it out for yourself. Do your research. Dr. Barry also helped make Keto Chow Minerals. He endorsed that and helped work out the formula. So do your research, but I definitely recommend taking minerals while you're starting. I don't take any specifically now. I eat salt. Um, so there you go. You just got to see what works for you, but I believe that is a way to help the leg cramps at the beginning because definitely taking magnesium helped me. But just on magnesium specifically, if you take too much of it, that will give you diarrhea also. So just heads up for that. Last but not least, um, and I've covered this a lot in a different video, is keto, keto flu. And what that is, is when you're switching over from eating a carbohydrate diet or any sort of diet that's not carnivore, you could experience withdrawal symptoms from carbohydrates and sugar, and it tends to feel like flu symptoms. So they, it's been dubbed keto flu, but I think it's like carbohydrate withdrawal, like sugar addiction withdrawal, and you're feeling that. So I did a whole video about that, and I say go cold turkey and get the stuff out of your house and just like eat more bacon, and that could work if you are like a rip the band-aid off sort of person that could work another person mentioned in my last video commented that basically you could cut back like get the carbohydrates out get the junk food out then slowly take out vegetables take out fruit like do it over a period of time so you don't feel that specifically but um feel those symptoms so badly however if you are not a person that can do that um i still and you're more of like an all or nothing sort of person Take the, rip off that Band-Aid, uh, eat a lot of bacon, eat sufficient amount of food, make sure you don't have any triggering food in your house, don't have the garbage in your house, and you know, just like roll with the punches and get through it. It's only like a little period of time that you might deal with that, and at the end, you're gonna feel a lot better. Actually, if you can get through all of this and just like be on a carnivore diet, you're gonna feel so much better in life in general, which is why I'm talking about this at all because I actually want you to feel better. I want you to feel good. I want you to uh, not feel depression or anxiety. I want you to be able to sleep again. There's all these things that this diet resolves for people. It's totally crazy. However, there could be deterrents like these things I mentioned 
while you're transitioning over to this way of eating and you got to know what to do about it because the benefits outweigh all of this stuff that I've just talked about and it will change your life forever. I totally guarantee it. Okay, so if you found any of this helpful, please like and let me know and comment below. Also, if you found this helpful, please subscribe. I am trying to grow this channel and the more subscribers, uh, it makes me uh, wanna continue to do my content and uh, move forward. All right, thanks so much, bye.